today I'm going to take you on a flip through of my December daily dropout journal. Hi and welcome to Vlogmas Day 20. Today I'm going to take you on a flip through of my, it's basically a December journal. Now I've done December daily before and if you don't know what December daily is, I'll put a link in the description below where you can check it out. But basically it's a scrapbook where you, you document a story every day or a few stories or 25 stories or you just document something in your December and usually there's pictures and journaling and all kinds of stuff. And I've done it before successfully but it's a lot of work, sometimes I do it in January and I just wanted to be able to document my month without having all the work because December is really busy for me. So what I've done, this is one of my Carpe Diem Tiens and I've, I've set this up in another video so I will link that up to you right here. And I added it in. So what it is, is, let me see if I can find a blank page. It's just a lined insert from Carpe Diem and I covered it with Simple Stories paper and added some decoration. I added it in this book because what I want to do during December or between Christmas and New Year's mostly is to go through these other inserts and you can learn more about that in the other video but this one is all about December so I wanted something simple I wanted something quick and easy I set it up late November but I left a lot of the decorating and of course all the journaling to each day and I didn't I decided on no pictures unless I have a really good one and I might just add them at the end there's no obligation for pictures it's if I want to if I don't take it or leave it and this guy is actually a free printable that you can get and I'll leave that link below as well there's all kinds of fun printables and every month there's a new set of printables and they match the stickers from this sticker tablet. It is the seasons one. So I don't know if there's any point in showing you December because most of them are gone. This one was this guy. So all of the images from the printables come from this book. So for example, I'll show you November because I didn't get a chance to use many ones of that one. And yeah, so those are really fun and the stickers are really fun too. So here's a look at the over, it's sort of like an overview of some of the printables. So these are full size pages and this guy is this size. But this is just to give you an idea of what the print printables look like. There's also a bonus Christmas set. The link to the printables will show you all of them. And there's all kinds of sizes. There's TN, Personal and A5 I think. I know you're dying to see, so let's have a peek. So the first page, these are from the printables. This is as well. This little piece of paper is just extra left over from this, and then a tree sticker. And I did put December 25th, that's a sticker as well. But basically, this is easy as it gets. I just made it super simple so that I could do it fast and easy and have it done. But it looks really cute, eh? These are also from the printables and I started to fill them out but I'm going to leave these until in between Christmas and New Year's when I have a little bit more time. Alright, so into December 1st. There wasn't enough room for each of the days to have a double spread. So I chose days that I knew would have more activity and I left more room for those. And of course because of the math and how it works out, some pages got double spreads even though I didn't know if I was going to be able to fill them up. But if I can't, I'll just add stickers. Okay, so I just have a simple design. I started off a little bit actually, I thought it was simple but it's actually quite, it can be a lot of work. So I've got washi here. I have a cluster with layers. So there's the washi, some bigger stickers, different shapes, different sizes. Another little cluster up here. Each day has the number sticker at the top. And that is from the numbers sticker tab. I don't think I have it here. But it's a tablet like this and it's just numbers. There's different sizes, there's different shapes, and it's really fun and it's super, super practical in your planner. So every day has the circle one, except for the 25th. I'll show you that when we get there. And then I did a little cluster there and another tiny one there. I started off strong. I really did. But then things get a little bit simpler as we go on. But that's okay. We'll get there in a second. This day two, again, I started off strong. Lots of stuff. We were at the rink, so there's ice and snow, and there's that little penguin guy again. He's so cute. Day three and four, so we've got two pages, and here again I've got um, quite a few stickers. So, like I said, we're starting off strong. Then the fifth happened. So what happened was, on the fourth, I got a flat tire. So I kind of got behind with everything else, and so I got behind on this. The thing is, I've got post-its, and these post-its, I want to show them to you. These are the Carpe Diem sticky notes, and this is the Bloom collection. And they're so pretty, but most importantly, they actually stick. They don't fall off. I know like the Target brand ones, you get them and you stick them in your book and then you pick up your book and it falls out. Or I put them on my computer screen and it falls down. So I don't use Target ones anymore, I use these. And like I can tug, like I'm tugging pretty hard before it'll come off. So that's sticking really well. I've got my sticky notes. I've written in what happened that day so I can go back, write it in. I Just these little notes are sparking the story in my mind right now so I know when I come back I'll be able to um, write that in and I will do this probably between Christmas and New Year's. My goal is to have this done for New Year's, so it'll be done because if I leave it for January, I just won't get finished. So same with this, it was a bit of a busy day. The 6th is a holiday at St. Nicholas, and so the kids are off school because of St. Nicholas, and it was a busy day. So I will get to that. This day, okay, I've written in the things, but you can see it's not decorated except for just the few little things. So I can go back in and decorate that at the end of December. 
Here's another page, day nine. Day 10, again, I have to go back in. This isn't decorated very much. You can see we went to the dentist, so I found some, some tooth stickers from the tablet. Other than that, I think I'll have to add a few little, I don't know, snowflakes or something. This day was quite elaborate, but I did actually do that one ahead of time. Day 14, this is all one day. It was a busy day. 15 was also a busy day. 16 was a Sunday, so we had lots going on, and it snowed, so I took, this is actually the January page, I took the January page from the sticker tablet, and I used ones that would match the snow, and like I didn't put winter, because it's not winter yet, but other than that, um, most of them would fit. 17 and 18, again, haven't got there yet, again, this was yesterday, so I didn't even do the, I did a bunch of outlines at once, and then I only got so far, so I have to do that, and this is today, the day's still young, so I haven't written anything in yet, but I will add it to my post-its, and I will do that later. So 21 is still blank, 22 is still blank. These are some of the printables, but what happened here is the 22nd, I skipped a page by mistake, I just added the printables to make it look cute. 23rd is the first day of winter. What I did, I went through the tablets and I found the stickers that I thought would fit. Like I had pulled out the dentist one and um, this one's Christmas Eve and other things. This one, I found some, I just stuck them to the post-it. I didn't want them to stick to the page and get stuck for good. So I added them there. So I'll go back in and add those when I decorate. So I went through the tablets, found stickers that would be appropriate and added them in on the pages. Just like either I decorate it like this or started to decorate and then other ones I put on the post-its. Okay, there's the 25th, but I also did the 24th. So I added Christmas Day. This is one of the Printables. I cut that out and added it in, and it's exactly the same as the one from um, from here. But this is a sticker. At the end, I had a few blank pages as well, so I added in some of the printables, and maybe I'll add pictures or some stories or other extra stuff that doesn't fit into a particular day. A few extra pages, probably for photos, depends. Now, this is a funny story. When I was printing them off, what I ended up doing was printing them on the back and front of one page, but the back page was upside down. What I did was cut them out, put wash at the top, and flipped it up so that it's right side up. Because if you look at it this way, I flip it, it's upside down. But if I flip it this way, it's right side up. So I thought that was a fun little way. And it's three printables taped in and it looks really super cute. Then I put a few things in here already. I did them in pencil because it may change my mind. Depends on what happens over Christmas. I'd like to have them more current with Christmas time than the beginning of the month. But I put them in pencil because I am doing these things in December and it's nice to include them. So the back, I just added a ho 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 sticker and that's basically it. Now there are still five days till Christmas. If you aren't doing December daily and if you aren't doing anything like this, I challenge you to pick a notebook, maybe a few stickers, one sheet of stickers, and commit to journaling what happened in the next five days. You could do more, you could do less, but just document something because Christmas is such a wonderful time and it's the little stories, it's the little fun things that really make it special and it's nice to document those so you can remember them and flip back and I love the way this looks, just even just the pen with a few little stickers and I'm going to love going back to this. I love going through my other December dailies, the ones that I finished and I really do not like going back through the ones that I haven't finished. So I'm going to finish it, I'm going to finish these pages up that I haven't done and I challenge you to do even just Christmas Day, anything. All right, let me know in the comments below if you're in, if you're going to do at least Christmas Day, if not the next five days. And if you like this video, give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. There's still four more days left of Vlogmas, and then I'll be back to once a week, every Monday, a video here for you. So make sure you're subscribed so that you don't miss a thing. Have a fantastic day, and happy planning.